How's it going, everybody? Gory Plains 344 here, and we are back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Last time I looked at the new Rescue Ace cards, and man, did that make me super excited for this deck and just make me realize just how strong this deck really can be, and how a lot of people honestly underestimated what the deck can do. Um, so here is my list for post the new set coming up because we're only getting one new card. We're only getting the reinforce, uh, which I find a little unfair that Pearly and Makanko got two cards each in this set and we only got one. But let's just go into the card by card real quick. I don't want to take up too much time. So we got two turbulence. I like this guy. Two, three he is too bricky. One is just too little. Um, I just very much like the guy at two, and I think it's a perfect amount for him. One Regulus for our Small World Bridge. You don't really need more. I mean, you can play more if you want to, just to see him more often. But I like to try and try to keep as many flex spots as I can for the deck. So I think one Regulus is very fine. Three Fire Engine. This guy is phenomenal. Not only is he an extender, he is also a way to just summon any of your Rescue Aces from your hand decks or graveyard. Uh, when uh, when your opponent special summons a monster, so he can summon any of your warriors, and he can also summon, more importantly, Hydrant on your opponent's turn, which is so important. One um, of our fire attacker here, I, I think this guy is pretty okay. He He's not great. He's just an extender. That, that's all it really is. He has an occasional effect where a card is added to your opponent's hand. You can draw two cards and discard one, but that's never really going to come up because most of the time he's never going to be on the field you're just using him as fodder to link summon two intruder uh I, this guy i might be cutting down to one um he's intruder is just a very eh card because his interaction effect summons from graveyard so he's just dead in the hand most of the times and he searches the trap or searches any of your traps which while it's you know you're searching a car that's great you're searching your traps which you're playing Turbulence. You don't really need to search your trap cards. So I might be cutting this guy down to one, but so far two hasn't been awful. Uh, three, Air Hoister. Love this guy at three. This guy's phenomenal. Searches any of your spells, which the one you're probably going to search most of the time is Headquarters or the new spell whenever we get that. Um, and then three, Impulse. This guy's phenomenal. This card is crazy. His main effect is okay sometimes that might come up uh, when you're trying to break boards but his main effect is when your opponent activates a monster effect on the field tribute this guy from your hand or face up summon a machine rescue ace from your deck which is always going to be fire engine for the most part because then when they summon fire engine can summon out a hydrant and it just it turns into like this really cool loop of stuff and i just i love it so much and then um we'll go into the hydrant right here is our last rescue ace monster uh, you know, the heart and the soul of the deck, you need this guy. He's very important. Searches your monster. And then also, really cool fact is if you have another Rescue Ace on board, he cannot be impermanent, which is very good. A lot of people seem to forget that. And it's just, this card is phenomenal. Um, and then we're also playing two Gizmek, uh, Naganaki. This guy is very, very solid. He is what leads us into our Small World branch for Regulus. Uh, because it goes into him, it goes into Fire Engine, and then it goes into Regulus. Um, but he's also there because he's another way of just getting Hydrant out onto the board, which is very, very strong. Uh, we're also playing for just Hand Traps, 3 Ash Blossom, and 3 Droll, because I feel Droll is very solid in this format. And then for our spells, we're playing 1-1 one, one for 1, obviously, 1 Rota because of our Fire Warriors, 3 Small World because we have the bridge for it, 1 Called By to stop Hand Traps, and then also we're playing 2 Alert, 1 Rescue, and 1 Headquarters. I feel like this is a solid amount for these spells, and of course, once we get the new one, that one's going to be an automatic 3 of, but I feel like these are good because Alert is only really strong if you have Hydrant, so if you play 3 of it, you can just draw into too many of it, and then it just doesn't really do much for you going first. Rescue is just a nice one of. You don't really need any more of it. And Headquarters is basically the same. This card, however, I do bounce back and forth sometimes between one and two because Headquarters is just your grind game. This card is your grind because it just keeps recycling your spells and traps so you can just turbulence every single turn, which gets you that advantage. And sometimes once this gets popped, it feels like you lose that grind ability that this deck is just so strong at so I, I that's why i do have one in the side the side is just showing other options but i do recommend maybe siding in another one or maybe trying it out too maybe taking out one intruder to put the second copy in uh, is something i might consider uh then for the traps we're playing two contain one reinforce and one extinguish two contain because it's easily the best one 
um, because it is the effect negation and also uh, at the resolution if you control hydrant that monster can't be used as fusion synchro exceeds or link material this turn which is crazy good a lot better than you would think and the traps are none of them are once per turn the only thing that's once per turn is reinforces graveyard effect um but you're only playing one so you're never gonna have to worry about that coming up um but we're also playing the one extinguish and then one reinforce this card is phenomenal this is a new card that we're getting in the new set it targets rescue waste monster control that monster gains 1500 attack and defense is unaffected by monster effects and the next time it'll be destroyed by battle it is not destroyed and then you can banish this card from your graveyard then target one rescue waste spell in your graveyard set that card the reason that this is important is um because of the fact that if you have hydrant on board you're going to be able to activate that spell when you set it because you can activate uh what is it his effect is you can activate a quick play spell or trap card that was set by the effect of a rescue ace card at the turn it was set which is very very strong that's why hydrant I, I love this card so much and also reinforce being able to because let's say you activated a rescue on your turn and then uh you set four and you set one alert one contain one reinforce and one extinguish uh once you activate your reinforce you can activate it to set the rescue and if you have hydrant you can and have another form of interaction by summoning something and it's just very solid the extract is just a random suite of stuff honestly um it's you know your zeus baguska exiton for when you rarely go into your xyz plays your underworld goddess because most of the time you do end on an ip and this deck does have a hard time with really really big monsters um so this is uh very good for that you know your nightmares your hita because all your stuff is fire your uh donner for the generic removal link rebo almirage uh, Anima, your Appaloosa, Axis Coat, and Cerberus. It's just, it's just like generic good stuff. Uh, you find yourself, the cards I see mainly going into is IP, Hita, Underworld Goddess, and then your Link Ones. Uh, other than that, I don't really go into the extra deck too often, um, because the main deck is just filled with such huge ass bodies. You just find yourself beating your opponent to death nine times out of ten. Uh, and then just for the side deck is just some options that I want to talk about, you know, I already talked about headquarters, but there is a fire warrior more tailored build where you can use Renaud as an extender and then Durandal to search any of your guys. And then Isold uh, can search an impulse uh, with the first effect. That way you have it in hand. Uh, I feel like that's really cool. That's something I definitely want to showcase a version of later down the line. But for right now, I just wanted to bring that up to you guys. And then of course you can always make more flex spots for hand traps that you feel are better uh, for this format because for me i just feel like joel's better but if you personally feel like you like ghost ogre more you like nib more you like Imper more you know you can always switch thief out um and then of course you always have your going second board breakers that you can also play as well but i have just a few replays to show real quick so let's go ahead and hop right in that and see what this deck can do all right so for our first match here we're going as an aturia runic uh and we actually opened pretty solid we opened ash Troll, and then we open our nice little two card combo and thankfully the two card combo is four summons so that nib in their hand is not really much of a problem at the moment uh so we'll summon out our air hoister here and we're going to summon or get its effect to get headquarters which will get us another normal summon for hydrant hydrant's effect is going to activate letting us get turbulence we make our copy of hita here and then we just banish the two for our turbulence set four and then just pass it on over to our opponent because this deck is awesome uh then they go ahead and activate flashing fire and i'm gonna admit I'm a little stupid. I, I thought Reinforce was unaffected by everything. It is not. It is just monster effects. So I quickly learned that the hard way that I'm a little goofy goober. Uh, so yeah, we lose some cards here and then they go and try to summon out Hugin. We will Ash that, uh, hoping that they don't have Fountain in hand and then they activate Sacred Tree, getting them their copy of Mole Cricket. We draw right here, which does actually end their turn, which I'm very happy about that with no fountain in rotation we're pretty set we go ahead and activate the alert during the end phase here then we just use reinforces effect just to shuffle it back because we're just going to be able to shuffle it with headquarters and just draw some cards as well so then uh they will activate mole cricket we'll activate ash they will activate destruction to pop our field spell and this is where i kind of mean like um once you lose the field spell it is a little bit harder for this deck to kind of grind um that is the weakness but however we do still have a lot of playability right now. So we summon out our little Gizmek boy, we tribute him off to get our Hydrant, then we activate his effect, and we will go ahead and grab Impulse. We'll activate Alert, letting us get Fire Engine from the deck, and then we summon out Turbulence, and then we summon out Fire Engine. So we just get a bunch of beaters on our side of the board, then we get Turbulence just to set two, and then we can go into Unicorn just to sack this off, and then they go for Mole Cricket, which, you know, is fine, and then we use Fire Engine to go into Air Hoister here, 
And now you can see where the problem is. I got a little too greedy and forgot. Man, Nib is something that some people play in this format. So they do that. Um, we still have a lot of stuff that we can do. So they go for Sacred Blessing here. Or yeah, they go for Naturia Blessing. We activate Rescue and Alert and a Chain Link where we summon Hydrant, but then also summon out Engine. So they go for Mole Cricket and we'll get our engine. So this way, now um, they'll summon out their Camellia and then we'll activate Contain, meaning it's Vexor and get it and it can't be used as material. They go Battle Phase, realize they can't really kill anything at the moment, and then they will just pass and then realize that we have game on board and then they just scoop it up right there. So for our next game, we're playing against Evil here. And I know this isn't like, you know, the craziest deck ever. This is like Hydrogen Bomb versus Coughing Baby stuff right here. But the reason I want to show this off is I wanted to show off the small world bridge and just a cute little interaction that uh, Regulus's equip effect has with this deck. So they just go ahead and summon Prisma, they set Evil Mine, and then they send Malicious, and then they just pass their turn. Again, kind of a uh, hydrogen bomb coughing baby. But we won for one here, pitching our fire engine. Then we go into small world here, we show the Gizmec, show fire engine, then we grab ourselves Regulus. We alert here to get our air hoister. We then activate... Hydrant to get Turbulence. We normal summon, get our headquarters here, and then we link off for Hida, and then we use Regulus to get ourselves Hydrant onto the board, and then we will summon out Turbulence, and then we will set four. Now, the cute little interaction that I want to bring up is all of these cards just say you have to control Rescue Base Hydrant at the point of resolution, and even though he's not a monster, you are still controlling Rescue Base Hydrant on the board. So not only do you still have a form of interaction with Regulus, but you're still getting all of the bonus effects of your cards. The only thing that you're not getting is Rescue Ace Hydrants, you know, uh, being able to activate a card the turn it was set, um, which is fine because you're trading that for an Omni, which I think is very, very good. And of course, we have the Droll in hand. Against any other deck, I feel that this is very, very strong. Um, but of course, you know, it's against Evil Hero, so we just kind of do some stuff and... It's just pretty much over from there. All right. In our next game here, we're going against B Trooper Insect, you know, all that good insect stuff. And this game is a really, really, really strong showcase of just if you can keep your field spell live, you have the most insane grind game with this deck. So they're going to be starting off firing off this copy of Descent, and then they're going to normal summon Resonance Insect, and then they're going to go into Armor Horn, and then they're going to use Resonance to grab Doomdozer. Armor Horn's going to let them get another normal summon. Why is Resonance not once per turn? They will then go to Papillion, and then they just, you know, proceed to do more insect stuff, summoning the Doomdozer, banishing two Resonance Insects. Good God. And then summoning out this dude, which I did not know that this was a card, by the way. Uh, and as you can see, they just proceed to pop off. Uh, there's only so much I could keep up with with my tiny little pea brain. Uh, but uh, their end board is honestly pretty strong. And the, they also do have Retaliating C in hand, which does counteract our one for one right here. And then they proceed to have Fly and Sting. And not only that, but they do end on um, Mighty Neptune as well, boosting up their guys. So they have an untargetable, unkillable guy. And then they also have a form of monster interaction. And of course, we, we know that they have the Retaliating C because they searched it. So one for one activating that is just completely off the table right now. So we draw for turn and we draw our small world here, uh, which isn't the craziest thing, but we are going to try and bait out that negation, which they do fall for it. And then we summon out our hydrant using its effective search. We will grab ourselves the fire engine. We go into anima here, uh, trying to yoinky spoinky their guy here. And I should have summoned this in attack mode. That was my fault. Um, but you know, sometimes you're in the heat of the moment, like, oh, I'm going to break this board. Uh, and then you just kind of mess up. And I also proceed to not read cards, and Mighty Neptune does come back from here. But we do end with our set four, and then we do have a one-for-one -one small world uh, follow-up as well. And we just have a very strong form of interaction here, because we contain to stop their Bear Grimm from nuking our board. We reinforce our guy here, and then we extinguish getting rid of their big guy, because he had 1,000 more. Uh, tax three was not unaffected. We activate our rescue here, but they do have the Sting Lancer in hand to shuffle it back, which is unfortunate. And as you can see, in terms of card advantage, we are getting absolutely rashed. I mean, we just have our 5,000 guy and just our HQ, so we are kind of struggling right now. So they go into the Trap Tricks link, trying to gate, but thanks to Reinforced Turbulence, it's okay. He does lose 500 attack and defense. 
um, since headquarters is negated. However, thanks to reinforce, the first time our boy would be destroyed by battle, he is not going to die, and he is also unaffected by all monster effects as well. So we are pretty set, and our opponent's just over here doing like a million things at once right now. It, it, it It's a lot. Again, I'm not going to try and go through everything they're doing. So they go to the battle phase here. Reinforce keeps our guy alive. They realize that, and funny enough, that is literally all we needed. We needed just one turn to kind of stay alive right here. Uh, so we'll activate Reinforce, setting this copy of Rescue. They do get the Flying Sting back, however, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's perfectly fine because we have one for one. They have no cards in, so they don't have to tell you can see. And we'll use HQ here to shuffle stuff back. And then we'll Small World here. And this is actually another funny thing with Small World. Small World uh, does branch off Droll Ash into Air Hoister, which is very, very funny. I do really like that. So we go into our air hoister here, going and grabbing our alert. Then we one for one, go into our hydrant, trying to bait out this uh, flying thing as much as possible. We go to alert, get both of our extenders. We go into an IP. And then we also use rescue to go into our hydrant. We summon out our fire attacker. Then we summon out fire engine and it finally baits flying thing. And this is where we can go off to the races. We use our turbulence to set four cards and we can use one of them so far. So we will go ahead and activate the effect of extinguish, which will get rid of that. And he does get to bring him back with Cruel Saturnus, which is perfectly fine because once we attack into it, it'll be gone. And then we can also beat over their Trap Tricks monsters, so HQ is not negated. And as you can see, they still have a lot of stuff on their side of the board. But for us, we can get a copy of Impulse in the hand. They go for their Scale Bomber here, which we will contain that so that they can't destroy our IP for activating the effect. And then we also do get the draw to effect with Fire Attack here. They are going to Fusion Summon into the big guy, and then they're going to make Fairgrim but we are going to IP and we are going to reinforce our guy here. So what we can do is we can go ahead and sack off their fusion for Underworld Goddess and then Underworld Goddess will negate their board and reinforce will let us set this copy of rescue yet again. Uh, they then go into BLS and they try to revive, but Underworld Goddess does have a negation. A lot of people do tend to forget that. <laughs> um, so we go ahead and just use HQ again, shuffling stuff back to draw some more cards. And then again, our card advantage has just completely outpaced theirs. Um, they try to get rid of our hydrant here, which is perfectly fine because impulse will trigger and we can just get our fire engine. And not only that, turbulence can also just pop that card. And again, we are just going off to the races more and more. We summon out our hydrant and then we activate turbulence just to get the reinforce onto the build onto the field. And then we activate it, boosting up to 5k, and then we just attack for lethal. And here we are. Uh, honestly, this deck is just so much fun. Again, HQ is just a phenomenal grind, and just the entire deck itself is just a very nice grind-heavy deck. Turbulence is a custom card. That, that's what it is. It, this is literally a custom card. Being able to just set four cards from your deck is absolutely insane. Um, but all in all, I think this deck does have potential for this format, possibly. I don't think it's going to be anything, you know, like meta defining but i do think it is a pretty niche little rogue deck that could do some stuff at you know at a local tournament or a regional level um but of course the main thing is once that new support comes out uh with emergency and the new monster then that's when the deck is really going to start taking names and numbers as well thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys have any decks you want me to take a look at in the tcg or on master we'll just leave them down in the comments below thank you guys again so much for watching and i will see you in the next video Bye.